don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cop360 here, and since I last saw you guys, I got my ATAR back. Now, my ATAR is pretty much my final mark for high school. Uh, after the culmination of all my tests and the final external exam at the end, um, as a part of my HSC, the mark I got was 93.25. I was stoked. I was very, very happy. It's a very high mark, very high percentage in the state. But regardless, I'm not here to gloat about that. I'm here to talk about the possibility, or not the possibility, the almost confirmation that um, Samsung is going to be joining Global Foundries or Glofo in um, producing AMD's next generation 14 nanometer chips, which of course will be the requisite for uh, Arctic Islands and Zen. Now, of course, uh, back in the day, AMD did used to own Global Foundries, but of course, they did have to sell it off or sell part of it off and able to, or to be able, or in order, sorry, to be able to pay for ATI, you know, acquiring ATI. Because as you guys know, I believe in 2005, AMD acquired ATI, they took in all the resources, uh, the IP and whatnot, and that's why we have AMD Radeon instead of ATI Radeon. But continuing on, what exactly does this mean? Well, it either means that one, AMD does not believe that TSMC will be able to, you know, produce in sufficient demand chips for both NVIDIA and AMD for the next generation, because as you guys do know, TSMC is making NVIDIA's um, GPUs. They are producing their chips next year, so maybe AMD thinks, okay, maybe we won't have enough. Um, the AMD did have issues with the Fury X and the, you know, the Fury Nano, Fury fucking X2, which I'll talk about in another video. But um, they had some um, issues with that in terms of um, getting you know supply out, getting chips out. But I don't know. I'm just fucking speculating. We don't really know. Anyway, continuing on. Um, they could just be expecting more demand. Maybe they're thinking, okay, maybe we should have two different, um, two different vendors, two different foundries to produce our chips. Um, we're going to have it all available. We're not going to have any supply issues. Maybe they want to do it because of that. But of course, guys, you do need to remember that Samsung has not really produced a chip as big as the GPU dies or the CPU dies that AMD produces. As you guys know, obviously Samsung produces mainly phone chips, mobile chips, very low power, um, you know, fucking just chips, low power silicon processors. So will they really be able to do this? I don't really know. And of course, some people are also saying that maybe AMD is just doing this so, you know, they have a backup. So in case Samsung does shit, they've got Glofo to, you know, cover them up. Or if Glofo does badly, you know, they can't get a good production process going on and they have Samsung to fall back on. Maybe they just like to have both. I mean, AMD, I mean, it's not like they're, they made the money right now. They're running low on money. So I really don't know what the basis of this really is. I mean, I don't think it's been done before well, with AMD within, you know, recent years. So they're doing it now. And I, I know I can't really complain about it. You guys can't really complain about it. Hopefully it means you won't be getting any supply issues because as you guys know, as I said before, the Fury X, Fury Pro, no, not the Fury Pro, uh, the Fury Nano, just a regular Fury. They all had some significant supply problems. Those cards were out of stock so quickly. But um, yeah. So anyway, guys, look, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And look, comment down below what you think about this. It's kind of interesting. I mean, Samsung of all companies, keep in mind, Samsung makes up a big percentage of South Korea's GDP, man. I don't think this is necessarily going to indicate that Samsung is going to buy AMD. Because if Samsung buys AMD, fuck, man, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of money going towards South Korea. That's a, that they're gonna contribute. I'm pretty sure Samsung, as is, contri uh, contributes around say the 17 or 27 percent of South Korea's GDP. It's one of those numbers or around that area. So as you can see, as you can tell, it is a lot. And if they come in to absorb AMD, then it's gonna increase, and then it's gonna cause all these other issues. And you've got issues with the X86 and the X64 license with Intel. And all this other stuff that I'm not going to get into right now. So look guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And well, I guess Arctic Islands and Zen should be good. I mean, hopefully we, we shouldn't have any supply problems now. We've got two foundries producing those chips. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Link will be in the description for the source. And I will see you guys later.